This is Cellist by Ann Robinson. It is so gorgeous and I'm so excited to show you all of the intricate details. Cellist is a boxy pullover vest meant to be worn as a layering piece. It doesn't have any shaping, so it's a great piece to start with if you're just getting into garment making. And once you make your first garment, I think you're gonna be hooked. I find it such a confidence boost to actually be able to wear something that you made. This pattern features reverse stockinette stitch for the body and the star, the thing that really makes me swoon is all of this luscious cabling. Just look at all these mesmerizing cables. It looks like little works of art stitched into this vest. The cables in the body of this pattern are so unique because between the cables, you have this luscious seed stitch. And you know I love seed stitch to add such a gorgeous little texture. You'll also find beautiful cables and ribbing in the hem of this pattern, as well as on this beautiful funnel neck. For more visual interest, the sides also have cables. And speaking of the sides, you have options here. You can seam up just a part of the sides and leave slits at the bottom, or you can seam all the way down and leave just room for the armhole, or you can leave them completely open. It just depends on the look that you're going for. The cellist vest uses our North DK yarn, which is a sumptuous blend of wool and cotton, so you get these little hints of the white cotton throughout each strand of yarn. It's a soft and soothing yarn to knit or crochet with and make such lovely patterns as you can see here. Today I am giving away 10 skeins of our luscious red shade Warm Socks in our North DK line. So to enter, just make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel and comment below letting me know why you love to knit. You can download the pattern and get the yarn at expressionfiberarts.com and while you're there be sure to sign up for email updates for weekly free knit and crochet patterns. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. This pattern looks incredibly intricate, but it's actually quite straightforward. And once you know how to work all these beautiful cables, you will be golden. To work your two by two left cable, we're gonna go ahead and grab a cable needle and put our next two stitches onto that. So slide one and two, and we're gonna hold that to the front. Then you're gonna go ahead and knit the next two stitches on your left needle. And then you're gonna knit two stitches from your cable needle. Or if you like, you can pop them back onto your left needle. Either way works. And then you're just gonna knit those. One and two. For a seven stitch right cable, we're gonna go ahead and grab our cable needle and put the next four stitches onto that. One, two, three, four, and you're gonna hold that in the back. Next, you're gonna knit three from your left needle. One, two, three, and then you can work directly off your cable needle or you can slide the stitches back onto your left needle, whichever you prefer. I'll go ahead and slide them back on. One, two, three, four, and then you can just work off of your left hand needle and you're gonna start with a purl one and then you're just gonna knit three. One, two, and three. For the left cable, we're gonna put the next three stitches onto our cable needle. Boop, boop, and boop, and we're gonna hold those in the front then knit one from your left needle. And then again, you can work directly from your cable needle or you can put them back onto your left needle and work from there. Then you're just gonna knit three. One, two, and three. For the left purl cable, we're gonna go ahead and put the next three stitches on our cable needle and hold in the front. Two, three, let those drop into the front, and then you're going to purl one off of your left needle. And then again, you can work off your cable needle or slide them back onto your left hand needle. Just depends on your style of cable needle and what you prefer. Then you're just gonna knit three. One, two, and three. For the right cable, we're gonna go ahead and put the next stitch onto our cable needle and hold it in the back. Then we'll knit three from our left needle. One, two, three. And then you can work from your cable needle or pop it back on your left hand needle. And we're just gonna knit that stitch. For your right purl cable, we're gonna go ahead and put our next stitch on our cable needle. 
and we're going to hold it in the back. Then from our left needle, we're going to go ahead and knit three. One, two, three, and then we're going to purl that final stitch. So I'm going to slide it back onto my left needle, bring your yarn to the front, and then you're going to purl that stitch. So there you have it. Simple cables, soothing stitches, and squishy yarn. Picture yourself curled up by the fireplace wrapped in this beauty. It's not just a garment, it's a labor of love, a piece of wearable art. Happy knitting, and until next time, stay cozy and creative. Bye-bye.